10.35, I slept in. And you know, this weekend has just been a roller coaster of emotions. I feel like there's times where I just kind of don't know how to control myself. I laugh about it, but honestly, there's so many times that my emotions are just like all over the place. It's just that's the part of having anxiety. So there was a lot of things this weekend that just came up and I just feel mentally drained today. It's Monday and I just am not feeling the best. I'm not gonna allow myself to just feel like crap all day, so I'm just gonna do a little me day. Just try to get my energy and my mood back up there. You know, I think it's so important to talk about mental health. I have anxiety, I've had depression, I go to therapy, and even though I'm in therapy, I have anxiety medication, I still have shitty days, and it's okay to still have shitty days because Obviously, we all freaking do. Like, I feel like I'm so out of it. I feel like, I didn't shave my armpits. I did, but they grow back so freaking fast. Whatever, we're ignoring that. I don't know if this is anyone else either, but like recently, for some reason, my anxiety is like through the freaking roof. I do not understand why I thought I had it under control. And now, like the past couple weeks, it's just been skyrocket. I cry over every little thing. I overthink every little thing. My hands are shaky. I can't be alone. It's just... Horrible. I have to take constant deep breaths throughout the day because that's a sign of anxiety if you didn't know if you have to like Like go like that throughout the day. Just like catch your breath sign of anxiety You know my body's just not feeling its best. I feel so emotional and I'm just crying over every little thing That's kind of not needed to be cry over. It's not really it for me Except for me actually is that I'm realizing that okay Candace, you're in a little fit So we're gonna spend some time to yourself. So literally today. I'm not doing any work. I'm filming But I'm just having a chill day this morning. I sat and had my coffee I was watching some Netflix and I'm just gonna try to get back into the zone I think it's super important to check in on yourself even if you're not feeling bad And that's what I struggle with. I always feel like oh the only time I should check in with myself is when I'm already feeling bad, but no. No, checking on yourself allows you not to get to that point. I'm just gonna take some time to myself. I know not everyone has the luxury of just being able to take a day to themselves, and I totally understand that. Even if it's just 30 minutes at nighttime, 30 minutes before you get up and go to work or to school, reflect on how you're feeling, whether it's journaling, taking a bath, doing some yoga, doing meditation, whatever it may be, I think you should do it. I'm just gonna stretch some, just to like loosen up my body. Stretching and doing yoga just also relaxes you and I just really need that time to just breathe in. I feel so tense. Being able to take a minute to yourself and feel your body stretching and pulling feels so good and relaxing. And also still Ben's foam roller because my back kind of has a pain in it. I've become so unflexible. This is not even funny. Welcome to your 20s. Time to roll the back out. This is what I'm scared about, honestly. Because this like has the divots in it, so it does more than just the normal foam roller. It's gonna hurt. I already know, because it hurts to even move my back. Uh. <laughs> that made me have to pee for some reason. I'll be back. Let's try this like maybe rolling on my side. That thing hurts so bad. I don't know if this is helping or making it worse, to be honest. Like, this is the only thing that feels good. You know when things hurt, but it feels good? That's where I'm at. Like, this hurts so bad, but it feels so good. I am just majorly breaking out right now. I don't usually break out that much, if ever at all. Usually, I'll just get, like, a pimple when I'm on my period. Right now, I just have breakouts on my chin and my jaw and just everywhere. Mostly because of stress, because... Yeah, that's the whole point of this video. I'm gonna do a little clay face mask. Face mask I'm doing is Bubble Come Clean. But we're gonna put this on my face and hopefully cure all my problems. I used to be the queen of put a face mask on, everything will be okay. Doing this so I can clear up my face so that I don't stress about my face, which then gives me more pimples and it's just a big ass circle. So I decided to drive up to North Hollywood and get my favorite salad. It's from Rodini Park. It's a chicken shawarma salad. So good and the sauce is just amazing. I get the garlic oregano. It's just fire and I haven't had it in a while and I've just been craving it. Sit at a park. I brought my book and I also brought my journal, but I forgot my, my pen. So I'm not able to do that. It's in my car. It's literally right there, but I'm trying to decide. I feel like packing everything up 
going to get my pen, come back and unpack everything. I don't think it's worth it. So we're just gonna read, which is okay. Might journal some in my phone just because I feel like journaling just releases so much and just being able to say whatever, it's kind of like getting stuff off your chest without worrying what a person's gonna say or what they're gonna think. Obviously, I have a therapist to talk to, but journaling is just also great. It definitely helps with my anxiety and really identifying what is wrong. Let's try this. I haven't had this salad in months. Mm -hmm. Still just as good. Cucumber, onion, and tomato in it. Their chicken shawarma. A plus. Also, it makes you feel good because it's like healthy. And there's not really any big parks like this at my house now. And this is where I used to live with Quincy and Ben. I love background noise. It's one of my favorite things. I love the sound of the city and people. And... Oh wow, I already got sauce on my pants. Are we surprised? I literally just washed these white pants. For some reason, there's like so many squirrels in this park. There's like 10 in these freaking trees. Oh my god, there's another one out there. Oh my god. Oh, there's one too. Why is there so many squ squirrels? Two squirrels. I'm gonna read a little bit. I've been reading this for a very long time though and I just, for some reason, I just can't finish it. <laughs> Guys, someone so weird just sat next to me at this coffee shop. Yeah, this girl sat next to me. I don't know who she is. I don't know who that is. I'm at a coffee shop with Ben. We're working. Got the latte. What did you get? I got a black tea. Is it good or no? Yeah, like 9 out of 10. Oh wow. You, did you find a parking spot in the- I found one right here. found one in here. I'm trying to decide what I want to have for dinner. I think I'm gonna light my candle that's over there. I don't know if you can see it because the light looks like freaking angels. That just instantly relaxes me. I don't know, just hang out the rest of the night. I might go see my boyfriend. I don't really know yet. The day was spent taking time on myself and relaxing and it felt so nice. And I just want to end the night good. You know what I mean? And just have a good and refreshed day tomorrow. I don't want to go to sleep late and then just be super tired tomorrow. That defeats the purpose of this whole day. I'm so happy I did this day and just like relax and genuinely didn't work other than just like sitting at the coffee shop scrolling on Pinterest. It was just such a good mental health day with just catching up with yourself and you know, just caring about what state I'm in and how I'm feeling and getting in tune with all of my emotions. So I highly recommend everyone to do this, obviously. Do it even if you're not feeling down. Do it if you're having a crazy week. Take some time. Like how I said earlier in the video, even if it's 30 minutes, a couple hours, just take some time to yourself. Do some of the things that you love and just relax. I just feel so zen out right now and chill. I just had such a relaxing day and everything went so smoothly. I'm just like, you know, like no one bother me. Make sure you guys subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.